Hello and welcome to our channel Tech Titans. Next, we present you with some of the top 10 strangest engines you need to be aware of. The engine is like the brain of a vehicle or a machine. The engine holds all the power necessary for your machine or vehicle to function. And without it, your device would be useless. Are all the engines the same? Is the engine in a car similar to the engine in an electric vehicle? Let's now dive into more details on the top 10 strange engines. Make sure to watch the video to the end to find out more about them. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoy the video and tell us what you think about the engines we featured in the comment section below. Subscribe and enable notifications for more awesome videos. 1. Yamaha EV Crate Motor Let's take a look at the new Yamaha EV Crate Motor Engine, a high-performance, high-electric motor that's ready for any application. The EV Evolution, perhaps, is the slowest-growing technological revolution ever. Yamaha is starting to show its hand. The Japanese car and engine manufacturer is teasing a new line of high-performance electric motors available for consumers to build their cars. This car engine boasts a power output of up to 200 kilowatts. The Yamaha EV engine design produces the industry-leading high power density for automobiles and other types of vehicles. Yamaha EV can customize the prototype to the specific needs of individual customers. It's not strange that Yamaha EV has decided to expand its engine tech in the future. The company expects to deepen its knowledge of evolving market needs by adapting the motor to its customers' requirements. The initiative is part of Yamaha Motors' transforming mobility business strategy, which the company announced together with its long-term vision in 2030. Under the banner of Art for Human Possibilities, Grab the opportunity to order these custom units of Yamaha EV to be produced rapidly for cars and other vehicles. If you're looking for the perfect electric motor for your EV conversion project, then Yamaha might have the solution for you. Up next is the electric V8 crate motor from Electric GT, a perfect way to encourage car enthusiasts to go electric. At 34 inches long, the E-Crate motor is self-contained in a tidy package about 5 inches longer than a small block V8. The electric GT253 motor block is something to be excited about. The modest 130 horsepower system is the forerunner of the EGT's new 413 and 313 and 213 EV systems, boasting a maximum RPM of 6,500. This engine will turn any car into a power machine. If what you want is reliability, you can forget about the 14,37500-odd parts of a modern V8 engine, half of which either rotate or are under immense pressure from caustic chemicals. Aiming to be one of the best engines of all time, this package demonstrates custom-built capability and engineering solutions available through EGT. This motor would be combined with electric GT energy closures to provide a turnkey system. The breadth of vehicles in the GT electric workshop is unusual, from Porsches to Fiat's, it is clear we see a plethora of e-swaps in 2021. The EGT motor should undoubtedly be on your shortlist. For potential engine swaps, your driving experience is about to hit another level. Next up is Nissan VC Turbo, the world's first production variable compression ratio engine that simultaneously achieves high efficiency and high power while synchronizing with the driver's intentions. The Nissan VC turbo engine utilizes a multi-link system that continuously varies piston top dead center and bottom dead center positions, allowing free control of the compression ratio critical factor of power and demand efficiency. This makes it the world's first production engine to achieve overwhelming high power and strange fuel efficiency, two performance characteristics that ordinarily oppose each other. When the intake airflow is low at cruising speeds, the limit of compression ratio is high. This is how the engine design works. This allows precise control of the boost pressure with minimal turbo lag to generate powerful on-demand output. The VC turbo engine uses a newly developed high-efficiency wide-range turbocharger and electric wastegate, monitoring driver input several times per second. The engine adjusts the compression ratio from 8 to 1 to 14 to 1, as needed optimizing power and efficiency. Delivering the power of a V6N, fuel efficiency of a four-cylinder, the VC Turbo was named Ward's Best Engines and Propulsion System in 2020. 
you don't get to earn a top industry award for the sake of it. The Nissan VC Turbo Engine is the digital transformation car enthusiasts have been waiting for. On to the fourth. Meet the Circle Cycle Orbital Engine, the non-reciprocating internal combustion engine. This impressive car engine is described as an orbital, non-reciprocating internal combustion engine because it has pistons and cylinders that can run on various combustible liquids and gases. This car engine has no engine block, no crankshift or connecting rods, no separate flywheel, no intake or exhaust valves, and no radiator. Circle Cycle Engine uses direct injection of fuel into the combustion chamber center. It can be configured to run as either spank ignition or diesel. The Circle Cycle inventors intended to improve the Auto Cycle internal combustion four cycle engine invented in 1861 by Nicholas August Otto. The Circle Cycle engine design changes some of the basic mechanical principles of the Auto Cycle engine. This car engine is ideally suited for automobile and light truck propulsion and its auxiliary equipment. This awesomely strange engine is air cooled from the inside and as such does not require a radiator. As Circle Cycle engine is environmentally cleaner, fuel efficient, of low weight and cost, they can be used for high performance vehicles. There is no compromise on reliability with the Circle Cycle engine a circle internal combustion engine producing continuous power. 5. Quasar Turbine Next on our list is Quasar Turbine, an engine design that considers how car emissions will affect the environment, the rising gas prices, and the realization of hydrogen-powered cars. The Quasar Turbine engine, patented in 1996, should be a subject of interest to any car enthusiast. Like rotary engines, the Quasarbine engine is based on a rotor and housing design, but instead of three blades, the Quasarbine engine has four elements chained together, with combustion chambers located between each component and the walls of the housing. In a piston engine, one complete four-stroke cycle produces two full revolutions of the crankshaft. That means the power output of a piston engine is half a power stroke per one piston revolution. A quasar turbine engine, on the other hand, does not need pistons. Instead, the four strokes of a typical piston engine are arranged sequentially around the oval housing. There is no need for the crankshaft to perform the rotary conversion. The advantages of using the engine include zero vibration since it is perfectly balanced, faster acceleration without a flywheel, and nearly oil-free operation. The engine can also run on different fuel types, including methanol, gasoline, kerosene, natural gas, and diesel. Its name may be hard to pronounce, but this engine is a worthy benchmark for engineers to keep working toward improving the internal combustion engines. 6. X3 Thruster Next, we take a keen look at the X3 Thruster, a powerful ion thruster that could one day propel humans beyond planet Earth. The X3 Ion Thruster, designed by researchers at the University of Michigan in cooperation with NASA and the U.S. Air Force, is a Hall Thruster. This system propels spacecraft by accelerating a stream of electrical charged atoms known as ions. During a test, the engine is operated at a vast range of power, from 5 kilowatts to 102 kilowatts with an electric current of up to 260 amperes. The X3 ion thruster generated 5.4 newtons of thrust, which is the highest level of thrust achieved by any plasma thruster. This engine uses electric and magnetic fields to ionize gases like xenon and expels ions to produce the thrust. The technique is much safer cleaner and more fuel efficient than traditional chemical rockets. Nearly 51.5 inches in diameter and weighing around 507 pounds, the X3 X3 Ion Thruster is one of the biggest engines in the world. Therefore, it qualifies as one of three prototype engines that NASA could select to power future manned missions to Mars. Scientists estimate that such a human mission to the Red Planet will require a propulsion system operating at at least 200 kilowatts. With such technological advancements, the colonization of Mars may as well come to pass, and if it happens, the X3 Ion Thruster will definitely have a role to play. 7. Hybrid Sabre Engine Now we look at the hybrid Sabre engine that is poised to spike revolutionary hypersonic air travel and space access. While rocket engines have become quite efficient over recent decades, rocket engine technology has not progressed significantly in 70 years. Reaction Engines is a company looking to push both types of propulsion technology forward by merging an airplane engine and a rocket engine in one system to create the biggest hybrid engine. The result is a light, 
powerful system called Synergetic Air Breathing Air Engine, Sabra. This invention will open the door to more sustainable aviation. The Sabra engine is designed to enable supersonic travel, which is more than five times the sound of speed. Such speeds are challenging to achieve with a standard airplane engine. Ideally, Sabra would allow for single-to-orbit rockets instead of the US Space Shuttle model of solid fuel booster rockets and a massive liquefied fuel tank. In addition to being useful on the Sabra engine, the pre-cooler technology is expected to have many other possible uses, including in areas such as motorsport, industrial operations, and the oil industry. With less waste, the Sabre engine is a cheaper and more comfortable mode of travel. Imagine traveling from the UK to Australia in four hours. That's the possibility we are facing with this engine. The fastest UK to Australia flight currently lasts around 18 hours. Wouldn't that be amazing? 8. Bacteria Sport Engine car that runs on bacteria? It might not be quite the kind of car engine you're imagining, but up next we are discussing an engine powered by bacterial spores. Bacteria Spore Engine. The new engine, Bacteria Spore Engine, which costs just $5 to build, represents the first step toward devices powered by nothing but bacterial spores and evaporating water. The idea of this unusual and unique engine was put forward by lead author and associate Professor Osgur Sahin and his colleagues from Columbia University. According to Sahin, the spores collect large quantities of energy from their interaction with water. The team glued spores to both sides of small tape to get energy. When dry, the spores make the tapes curl in wet surroundings. After they rigged it up to a toy-like car, it propelled the car engine. Sounds interesting, right? Sahin and his team will work on scaling up the engines using the spores. Yes, bacterial spores could produce more energy per square foot than wind farms for much lower cost. Being one of the top 10 engines in the tech of tomorrow, let us await this amazing invention to drive our cars. Have you ever thought that an engine will provide strong mechanical responses from evaporating water and bacterial spores? If not, it is another emerging technology used in bacterial spore engines. Nine. Free Valve Camless Engine Up next we have the Free Valve Camless Engine, the powerful one that delivers best performance and works efficiently. Lightweight, low cost, and producing low friction, the Free Valve Engine functions without camshifts and allows valves to open and close instantaneously. A camless piston engine works with the help of actuators. The engine's valves are opened and closed by a system that includes electronic actuators with pneumatic and hydraulic controls. Implementation of the free valve system leads to a compact total engine package as many parts are not necessary. Hence, this piston engine has fewer moving parts, enabling less friction, thus needing less power. With the free valve system, the engine can be turned multiple times before ignition using the piston to pump the air back and forth to the intel. The flexibility and intelligence of the free valve technology enable an engine to deliver lower fuel consumption and emission, promising 100% performance. Moreover, the camless piston engine system is an enabler for many great inventions with substantial potential to improve engine efficiency. The camless engine is being developed in various cars. Let us wait for such engines. 10. Duke Engines Last, let us dive into the details of Duke Engines, the innovative axial piston engine. Compact in size, the Duke engine has fewer moving parts and is lighter than conventional internal combustion engines. The Duke axial piston engine has been under development in New Zealand since 1993. Different versions are used in various automobiles. The latest V3i version of the Duke engine was ran successfully on Jet A1 fuel and pump gas in 2013. The most important advantage of this internal combustion engine is its less weight and size. Super and turbocharging and many enhancements applied to conventional engines can be used to Duke technology as per its developers. The Duke is characterized by a five cylinder engine with the cylinders arranged like the chambers in the cylinder of a revolver. An advanced internal combustion engine delivering high thermodynamic efficiency, complete fuel flexibility. The Duke engine is ideal in general aviation and experimental aircraft. Be it for an everyday driver or a wandering tourist, the Duke engine vehicle awards you with reliable and effective performance. Thank you for watching our video on the list of top 10 strange new engines. No machine or vehicle will function smoothly without the presence of an engine. Some of the engines sound a bit unique, right? If you like our video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell 
be sure to like the video and feel free to add any suggestions you would like to see in the comments section.